Hey everybody, this is Miniature Tim giving you a tutorial on how to sculpt chainmail uh, using green stuff. Um, this is the part where I use a basic clay to practice on and a burnishing tool. I use the largest one I have so that you can easily see what I'm doing and, and get a good gist of what's going on. Basically, it's one motion. There, there's really nothing to this. Uh, you're going to start with uh, impressing the burnishing tool under the clay or green stuff and pushing forward just a little bit okay so you do that in a series of lines creating half moon shapes as you go see half moon shapes okay now turn that around and you do it now in the opposite direction and you begin to get the effect of interlocking rings which is what chainmail is made of. So now you see I went that direction first, came back and went that direction this time. So you'll get an impression of actual rings interlocking. And uh, the biggest thing here is that you then uh, get a sense of of a large scale of chainmail by doing this over a large surface area or small surface area depending on what you're sculpting chain onto and again you'll notice that it really does not take that much time to do this effect um, it's 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 pretty easy it's pretty simple to get some satisfying results so real easy real quick and again I'm working large here to give you a good idea what's going on. I'll come back in a couple minutes, look farther down the post, and you'll see me creating chainmail on a spare guard figure that I have. Thanks for watching.